Hey everyone, I'm Kate Kennedy and I am here with Leak Week 4 video 5. We're recording stories from you guys this week and I'm really really excited about today. Linda Gilmore has an awesome leek quiche recipe that she is going to share with us and I'll even get a taste I think. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you around and we're going to go on in and say hello. Hi Kate. Hi Mrs. Gilmore, how are you? You can call me Linda. I can't. I can't call you Linda. You're always Luke's mom to me. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having us in here today. I'm so excited to learn from you. Well, thanks for having me. Okay, so you're going to make a leek quiche. Yep. How long do you think you've been making this recipe? Oh, years. Years. Yeah. You don't even remember when you started? Nope. Or where it came from? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems like it must be a family favorite. Um, the kids really don't like it. Luke doesn't like it. So. <laughs> Abe, I don't know if he likes it or not, but he's my leak person. <laughs> you must like it then. Yes, we love it. And, and your husband. Mm -hmm. And we've used, I mean, it calls for Italian or hot, hot Italian sausage, but I've made it with ham. I've made it, today I'm going to make it with pan sausage that Ralph has, had made up. Oh, yeah, and that's the thing that is great about a recipe like this is that you can switch things in and out. So that's a good thing to know. Yeah, and so your husband, Mr. Ralph Gilmore, works at Bell's, so you have a lot of options available to you always, probably. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. You can just kind of give us a play-by-play -play of how okay. you put this together. I'm going to start. These are our fresh eggs from out back. Oh, my gosh. We have chickens. You do? Oh, I have to tell everybody they have the cutest beagles, too. <laughs> So beagles and chickens, that's amazing. So I'm gonna, we're gonna use six eggs. And I always, look how you do that. <laughs> and the one you're gonna try later is made out of turkey eggs. No, oh, no way, you have turkeys too? Yep. What else do you have? I might as well just ask that now. Quail, rabbits. What? What a variety out here you guys have. <laughs> oh, it's, they call it the Gilmore Farm. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're just going to whip up the eggs. And we're going to throw it in. And then I have a pound of sausage. All right. And like you said, you could switch this out for flavored sausages. Yep. You could switch in a uh, ham. Hot sausage, you know, I'm not a person that likes hot things, so I don't put hot sausage in. <laughs> Yum. This looks so good. I can't believe I didn't, I had no idea you had your own eggs. That's really amazing. How long have you been in this house? 39 years. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you had all of the animals and been using oh, the... Just, mm, Probably 10 years, maybe. So that's a newer thing for you guys. So then I have a cup of shredded um, cheddar cheese and leeks. And where do you guys get your leeks? You don't have to go specifics, <laughs> but you know, you get them around here yeah, and yeah. you guys pick them, right? Yep. And a lot of times, I mean, these are frozen because I haven't, we haven't been out. Okay. Okay. So you um, get them and then use them all year. Yep. Look at that. Woo! Mm, I can smell this. <laughs> they don't lose their sense. No, they do lose their potency. And like Jack said, when you you know Hedlund said, when you cook leeks, they they're not the same. They aren't the same. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Gilmore here is like the Food Network. She has one to go in the oven and one ready to come out at the same time. So <laughs> and I usually make my own crust, but. I did today. <laughs> well, that's again, though, you can, I think that shows the versatility of this recipe. Yeah, it's easy. Just go and buy yeah. frozen. And really, those ingredients aren't that difficult. No. <laughs> <laughs> the most like, difficult one probably would be the leeks if you don't already have them frozen. You just have to go out and get them. Yep. And I just pour it in the pie pan. Scrape it all out. Yep. Oh, wow. And it really does fill it out. So six eggs. Mm -hmm. 
one cup of cheese. Would you say a handful of frozen leeks um, or leeks? Just half a cup. Half a cup, okay. And then how about how much sausages is that? About a pound. A pound. There you go. Oh, there's the recipe. recipe. <laughs> I'll be taking a picture and posting this right with it. Oh my gosh, so easy. Mix together. Pour into the unbaked pie shell. Oh. That's Bake it? 10 minutes at 350 or 30 at 400. No, you turn it up to 400 and then you bake it. You bake it for oh. to 350. Oh. And that kind of sets the egg. I, I have not um, done something like that before. <laughs> so you do two different um, temperatures throughout the baking process. So the first 10 minutes is at 350, then you crank it up to 400 and do that for 30 minutes. Yep. And here's the finished product. Oh my gosh. Look how nice. I mean, that looks really filling too. It is. <laughs> like, that's the size I had for dinner last night. <laughs> nice. And um, I'm going to take a bite right now. Thank you so much. I, I, I like hot things, so I probably would put hot sauce on this. It looks like it's calling for something like that. Okay, <laughs> let me take a bite. Mmm, that is really flavorful <laughs> for so few ingredients. Yep. That has so much flavor and so much like density, I want to say. Like it's a filling meal. I can see how that would be a perfect thing to take to a breakfast or like you said, even for dinner. Right, yeah, we eat a lot for dinner. Yeah, and the protein in that is mm -hmm. really filling and would hold you over for a long period of time. That is delicious. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this. Oh my gosh, and um, I, I feel like I learned so much from you today already with like just about <laughs> all of the things that you can uh, provide for yourself right here on Gilmore Farm. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us before we wrap well, up today? I was going to tell you, I, growing up, never ate leeks. Okay. You know, my and dad being, you know, I was gonna say, my mom and dad being teachers, you know, never. And so when Ralph and I started dating, he'd bring me out here and it was like, Oh, we're having a party. I'm like, okay. Well, it was a Leek and Lindberger party. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and his his grandpa Cummings from Johnsonburg, they would, I mean, the whole neighborhood, the whole JoJo Road would come and they'd have a Leek and Lindberger party. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so that was like your first introduction yeah. mm -hmm. to Leeks. <laughs> yep. And I wasn't real crazy about them at first, but you know, they... They grew on you. Yeah. <laughs> So it sounds like he has a long history with this. Oh, yeah. 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 So you had to learn. Yep. <laughs> well, it must have all, all worked out because how long have you guys been married now? 45 years in September. There you go. Yeah. So leaks and love. Yep. It all comes together <laughs> here at the Gilmore House. <laughs> well, thanks again so much for sharing. I'm going to take one more shot of this leek quiche. Look at that. See, look how much it rises. It gets pretty... Fill, and it is so filling. You take a bite and it's delicious. I'll post the recipe for you, but now you have the play-by-play -play of how to make this pretty easy if you oh, don't have really a lot easy. of energy to make dinner at night or have to prepare a quick breakfast. This is a great one. Yep. Thanks so much for sharing that. Well, thanks for coming. And thank you guys for watching. I love learning new things about um, how to prepare leeks, and I love hearing the stories that go along with them. So um, thank you so much for tuning in, and we have a few more stories to share this week. And if you have any of stories that you would like to share, please reach out and let us know. Thanks, and I'll be seeing you again sometime soon.